If you like this content, please watch the full video. Hit like, leave a comment below, and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, this video could not have waited till tomorrow because it is so funny some of the comments that I'm getting off of the video that I made regarding my daughter going to the store for me. I uh, These grown people on here, because you guys have to be grown, grown men on here because the majority of my followers for some reason are men. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Yes, you do. That's why you're sitting there with that shirt on showing damn near your full breasts. And you're trying to act like you're clueless why men follow you. You're talking about something right now. Why you got to sit there with your breasts out? See, you know that you're attractive and you say, let me step it up a notch and let me show my breasts. But then all of a sudden you don't know why the majority of your followers are men. Stop playing games. Um, going in on my baby or saying that she's lazy or that remember that you guys are only watching half of our life, not even half of our lives on here on TikTok. OK, you cannot judge my life, my, my family's life off of a, a 5, 10, 15 second video, 10 minute video. So save it. I know that it's, it's something that, you know, that maybe we should ignore, but it's just a little too much, guys. Okay. I, my baby is educated. She's going to college. She has goals. Okay. So I, I was, it was, it was more like a, this is more like a venting. It was more like a venting video compared to how we grew up on to how these kids are growing up, which a lot of them are becoming famous and getting money off of TikTok and all this social media stuff, et cetera, et cetera. My baby's going to college. She works. She does what she needs to do. Okay. So why do you have to put her business out there on blast? Why do you have to post it? It's always funny to me when women like this or people in general, but a lot of women post videos and then get mad when people have comments. You put your daughter out there. You put her on blast. You. You did that. Stop blaming people for responding. If you don't want it to be out there, stop posting it. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Don't play the victim after you didn't posted it and people have something to say to you about it. Not that I didn't teach her the stuff that you, that, you know, that you guys think I haven't taught her. She knows how to do that, but she's more focused on college, graduating, getting a career and all that stuff. Some people's um, goals in life is different. So, you know, I didn't graduate college. I didn't graduate college. I have a good city, city job. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, and I, yes, I know how to cook. Thank God. To, thanks. Thanks to my grandmother. There's the one that raised me and my brother growing up. And I don't need to get into details why I grew up with my grandmother. Yes. And you guys know, sometimes, a lot of times when you grow up with your grandparents, you learn so many more things than you do when, you, when you're with your actual parents. What? You, you know, you have knowledge, you have experience, you have, you know, my grandmother, thank God my grandmother is still alive and I'm still learning from her. You know what I mean? So. There's some issues right there that you weren't with your parents. You can try to play it off and act like that was the best thing that happened, you being with your grandparents. Of course they love you. That They're always gonna love you, they're your grandparents. But stop trying to sit here and act like it wasn't something that affected you as a child for you and your brother not being raised by your, your, your biological parents because that definitely shapes who you are as a person. Don't judge and don't sit here and talk about my baby or talk about our lives or what you think you know because you don't know. We know what you keep making videos about. Again, if you don't want people to know, you don't want people to comment, you don't want your baby's business to be out there, stop posting it for attention. Just like you're showing off your breasts for attention. That's what you're doing. Just be honest. <laughs> 10 minutes, not even 10 minute video. And you guys already think, say my baby's lazy and my baby's this and my baby's that. Okay, yeah, I think it's funny and I laugh about it a lot of times because I'm like, you guys must be real bored, have too much time on your hands, hiding behind a fake profile, which is, you know, a lot of times that's what, what it is, you know, grown people hiding behind a fake profile because they're unhappy with their lives. <laughs> I could say the same thing about a lot of women that constantly make these videos. Does that mean that you're unhappy with your life?
Does that mean that you need constant attention and validation? Sadly enough, a lot of you women do. That's why you make these videos. And you also make videos because you know there's going to be some controversy. You know that there's going to be comments. Because see, for a lot of you, it's all about attention. A lot to do with attention and validation. And then you want to play the victim. <laughs> so, you know, she my, my baby's smart. My baby's book smart. And, you know, she got her shit together. I don't have to be on top of her for that. I don't have to be on top of her to get her... Her, to go to college, to get her um, her classes, getting a job. That was her decision. She's doing both things, and she's doing it well. That's good. My baby is in the Air Force, been in there since she turned 18. She's book smart. She's smart, but you know what I will never do is get in a video and, and air her business out there and make it even seem like she's lazy or she's doing something wrong because as a man, I don't need that attention. I don't need that validation. I don't need to use my children my daughter to get attention for myself. That's what you did. And now you're just mad because people calling you out on it. You can't handle the truth. So, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to learn how to cook, it's fine. This generation gets Uber, they get Lyft. I mean, Uber, Uber Eats, they get, um, what's that other one? Um, all those other Instacarts and all that stuff, everything is pre-made at Costco. They don't need to go, they don't need to learn how to cook. This generation don't need to learn how to cook. Bad advice. So right there, what does that tell you? She did not teach her daughter how to be a wife, probably because her mama didn't teach her to have, be a wife. Her mama wasn't even around. Her mama didn't raise her, it sounds like. So that's great. Just repeat the cycle. Just tell your daughter you're pretty and that's good enough. You don't need to learn how to do anything. You don't have to have any type of traditional values or anything like that. You don't have to do anything that will make you the best candidate for marriage for a man. You don't have to do any of that. See, what you need to understand about a lot of these ladies, a lot of these women are jealous of their own daughters. And I know you're going to be like, oh, Reef, that's ridiculous. No, but it's true. One of the first uh, people that a girl is in competition with is her mother, her mother, her aunties, her sisters. Call a spade a spade. Tell the truth. A lot of times women are jealous of their daughters. It's as simple as that, especially in this day and age. You notice how she referenced it's not the same as it was back in the days. See, a lot of these women, they're jealous that they can't do what these younger women do today. They're jealous that they can't get the same type of attention. They can't get the same type of opportunities. So they kind of do like this sneak this a lot of times. And a lot of times it doesn't matter if it's their daughter or if it's somebody that cares about. They want attention. You, you are fooling yourself as a woman. If you think that other women are not uh, jealous of the people that are closest to them, you need a reality check. That I got on here and was venting? Yes, I was venting because I grew up a lot different. If you're from the 80s, you grew up a lot different, but times have changed and we have to, we have to um, accustom ourselves to that. So please, please don't talk about my baby. I don't appreciate it, okay? And I'm going to continue coming on here and venting with you guys because that's what Instagram is for. I mean, sorry. That's what TikTok is for is to, you know, talk about anything and everything. So, yes, I had to get on here and say this because it was just, it was just, yeah, it was bothering me that you guys are grown and you guys are acting like that. That's funny. That says a lot about you guys. So don't think you know us. From, you know, this whole social media stuff, you have no idea. You have no idea. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Have a great day. Okay. And you're grown on there acting like that yourself. What did you just say? Oh, Instagram. Oh, I mean, TikTok is great for venting. Really? Is that really what TikTok is for? No, that's what you want to use it for, to complain, put people on blast, Get attention and show off your breast. Show off your face. I'm not going to say she's not attractive because she's pretty. It is what it is. But being pretty doesn't mean that you have great values. It doesn't mean that you're a good person because you're pretty or because you have nice breasts. A lot of these women simply seek attention. And again, I will keep saying it. A lot of women are jealous of the people that they love. And a lot of times it's their daughters because they can't have the same opportunities. So ladies, if you don't want somebody talking about it, 
Stop posting it. Just like I make this video right here. I know it's going to be people in the comments saying, oh, you, you're an incel or this or that or whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I'm ready for that. I'm prepared for that. What people say about me don't define who I am. I know who I am. And I don't need approval from other people. But see, a lot of times women need approval. They think that they can just say anything and do anything and people are just not going to say anything about it. Especially when you put your kids on blast. Because to me, that's whack. That's weak. That's not being a parent. Keep your kids' business outside of that. Talk about yourself. If you want to get on here and make these videos, you want to vent. Why do you have to put your kids on blast? See, smart people can see through this. This is nothing but a smoke screen. I want to say what I want, but I don't want any accountability for it. Seems like a recurring theme that goes on with a lot of these women because it is. I want to do what I want to do. I want to say what I want to say. I want to dress how I want to dress. But nobody can say anything to me about it. If you do, you're weak. You're lame. You're a creep that hides behind a profile. Nobody would know what's going on with you if you didn't put it out there yourself. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.